Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. And now that we've got ice fishing behind us, we're looking to kick off open water doing something special. So that brings us to today's show. Now, Pat and I have been kicking around the idea to head south, way south, to go fish with an old friend. Uh, for those with a really good memory, you'll recall that Ben Brennigan uh, used to run camera and do some production work for us here at In-Depth Outdoors. Well, Ben moved to Mississippi and while our friend moved south, what it did was it opened up some opportunities to do some pretty cool open water trips. And we're gonna film one of those today. We're headed to the Gulf of Mexico to fish redfish with Ben Brennigan. And we're gonna use walleye weight tackle, spinning gear to target these incredible fish. Now, the plan from the get-go uh, on this trip was to get out to inshore rigs, oil rigs. And what I mean by inshore is rigs that just aren't very far offshore, a few miles out to about 20 miles off the shoreline. Now when we left Minnesota, the forecast looked great for light winds. But what we got was two and a half days with of high winds that kept us stuck firmly back in the marsh. Of course, we were able to keep ourselves occupied by catching speckled trout as fast as we wanted to catch them, and there were still some huge bull redfish running around in the shallows. So, Finally, we were able to get out on the Gulf of Mexico itself, get out of the marsh, and get to the rigs, and that's when things got really interesting. So stick around. I think you're going to really enjoy today's show. It's me and Ben Brennigan down in Louisiana targeting huge redfish on light tackle. a little better. Yeah, not sure what we got on, but it feels better. I think you got a redfish. I think so. Real good one? Oh, oh. he's in that oyster pool. Oh, do the old walk about the boat. I guess we're going this way. Wow, what do you have? I got about everything, I think. He's doing what he wants with me. What in the world is this thing? Wow. We, we gonna win? Uh, that was an oyster pull. The trolling motor. motor. The motor. And now he's taking me to open water. I mean, if this is a redfish, this is a giant. There he is. Oh. oh that's a big, uh, big black drum. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is huge. Yeah. So that'd be somewhere like a sheephead Back yeah, off. we caught a little, a littler one earlier in the day. That, Got it. But they grow. I mean, they get obviously. We don't have any extra net. That's for sure. Oh, oh my! <laughs> we are getting a picture of you with this thing. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna do my best, Ben. Yep. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, Fred, my net's gonna break. Oh. So that is. That's basically a sheephead from back home, right? Yeah. It's, Yep. It's got to be in the same family. <laughs> wow. That's a heck of a fight. Like we were saying, I, if that was a redfish, that would have been a crazy yes. huge redfish. Huh. What, they, you mean redfish get that big? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've seen a lot of guys catch them in Texas and off some of the, you know, piers and whatnot in Louisiana, but you don't see many of them like this up. Up in are, the river. Up in the, yeah. Wow. Let's get this back. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go over with it. There's. She... See you oh. later. Congratulations. Oh, thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's. I, uh... When I first saw it, I thought it was a red. So did I. I was like, that is unreal. The biggest red fish you've ever seen. I think that's. Just, we might need to take a little boat ride. Not because the fish stopped biting, but let's button it up and head to catch some red fish. There we go. Oh, uh, that's a real deal. I think that would be of the redfish variety, but I said that like three times and yeah, I should just well, say what it is. I don't know, it's a fish. You were pretty close last time. <laughs> Man, just doing what he wants. So that's the old redfish bend right there. Yeah, I made the mistake when I first moved down here. You know, you put mono right. backing. Then I just had a normal amount of braid and I found out a normal amount of braid is, means different things right. down here. Well, I, I put 150 yards of 30 pound test on each of them. Yeah. So we should be good. I think so. That was jigging shrimp? Jigging a shrimp. That was one of those drum again. Nope, that is a toad of a redfish. Nice. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a big fish sandwich you got there, bud. Yeah. Come on, big guy. There oh. we go. Oh. <laughs> ah. Wow. That is a whale. <laughs> and that one doesn't have a, well, it's got a little tiny little freckle right at its tail. Yeah. So a lot of the times these big bulls, they, they spend a lot of time offshore, but this is a spot that you can pretty much reliably get them. All right, let's get him back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels, and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection, everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. We are here. If it wasn't for man-made structure, there wouldn't be any out here, would there? There's a whole lot of nothing. You can't see land anywhere. I was but watching your fish finder on the way out, and it's the most gradual slope. Mm -hmm. So we made it to about 17, 18 feet. It's a big complex of rigs. They call it central rig right here, and it's all these well heads scattered all over the place. And this is where the big bull redfish live. You can, we were tickling them. Right. You could tickle them in the inside, but 
this is the juice right here. Well, I'm ready to get after it. Yeah. It's pretty easy to tell where to fish, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. thing that sticks 25 feet out of the water, That's fish there. There you go, yeah. So. All right. What rod do you want, sir? I'm going to grab drop shot? the drop shot and rod here. Let's start kind of out here. Would. Oh, yeah. That'll do the trick. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. There you oh, go. Oh yeah. That was all right. That fish come right to the boat. Did it really? Yes. God, I literally cool. caught that fish vertical Aye. jigging. It was gonna be my last pop before I was gonna start reeling yeah. it up. <laughs> then he thwacked it. Oh, it's feeling bully. Yeah, looking like it. All that bait fish hanging around these wellheads and where there's bait. Just gotta convince them to eat one of what we got. Yeah. First thing I do is always grab the net, but I have no idea why. <laughs> this is our first time on salt water here at In Depth Outdoors. Not gonna be our last. <laughs> Back at home, the Midwest's all flooded out. We figured this is a pretty good option. Plus, we haven't seen Ben in a long time. Yeah. We were overdue. It's been a few moons. There she There's goes. the red. There we go. Yes. On the board. Thank there you, sir. There you go. There's your prize. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dip. Have that rod from you if you want Thank you. Yeah. Take that. Oh, look at this. This is just, I would imagine, just a nice average mm -hmm. redfish right there. Fight like absolute mules. <laughs> Come here, you. Get up in there. And he I'm just... going to need some extraction yeah. toolage here because this guy just woofed that plastic. Yeah, the nice thing about redfish is they're not really too picky out here. I like fish like that. Yeah. So there we go. Come on, you. Oh, there's the bait. Swim jig. That's a, uh, a GT360. New penny chartreuse tail. And that's what tried to kill it. What would you say? It's about 26, 27 inch red? Yeah, if I'd say 27. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm going to fire that one back. Thank you. Redfish. See ya. Oh, I hope we get to do that <laughs> a lot today. Thank oh, you, Ben. What was that, your second cast? That was my second cast. Second cast. That's not too bad. This is a cool deal. You know, we were just so worried about being able to get the conditions we needed to get out here. I mean, this is a great center console boat Ben's got. Uh, you know, they're great for running through the marshes, shallow water, but then you get out on the gulf itself, out on the sound, and, uh, you know, the uh, you gotta be careful about conditions. Yeah. This is gonna work today. That was fun, man. Oh, it's... right at the side of the boat like that, tight line, crush. Uh -huh. It is uh, hard to argue with how much fun that is. Available in six technique specific models, the new Dead Eye Custom Series spinning rods from Akuma offer tournament grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Dead Eye Custom Series rods offer an ultra responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Dead Eye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Okuma is inspired fishing.
features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Fish. There he goes. Oh, another good one. Come on. <laughs> I don't think it's as big as that last one, Ben. Or at least it's not yeah. uh, oh. tying me up in a rig. But maybe it's a little too early to tell. Yeah, he might decide that you're going for a ride. Everything about this is awesome, but that hit. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Got a big boat going by us right now. The quality on these fish, I mean, you were saying it. This is rigs. We can stay out in the marsh and catch fish. We catch trout too, but if you want big reds, this is it. Yeah, this is the place. A lot of those big reds are just out here and they live out here. Look, we've got a big old crew boat bringing people out to the oil rig here. Oh, come on, fish. Whew. Free spotter. <laughs> Free spotter. Trade you? Yep. Thank you. This one shouldn't be such a no a process of getting the jig back. Right. Yeah, that ain't so bad. They are snacking on that thing. Oh yeah. What would you say? 26? 27? Nah, that one's probably over the slot. So probably is it? 20. Yeah, that one's probably. If you're telling me my fish is bigger than I'm guessing, yeah. I'll, I'll take your take your word for it. Yeah. Oh. See you later. Adios. God. Yeah, you do this for a day, your arms start to get a little. I'm there. Yeah. I'm, I'm old. You gotta remember. <laughs> this bait, pretty durable. That's what three fish on it. It's holding yep. together pretty good. I don't know how that fish did it. It actually had the bait turned upside down on the jig. Huh. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, oh. there Bends we go. Bends into one. Didn't even get a throw cast. Good for you, man. Yeah. You still shrimping? I'm, I'm shrimping, but he's big shrimping. That's gonna be a good one, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Come on. Get Try, from trying to get rig. you in the rig? I'm trying to. Wow. That angry just, fish. Just the power. I mean, and it's all a lot of these saltwater fish. Mm -hmm. Catch a 20, 18 inch trout and they don't fight as good as these, but. No. So we are off, we are out of Shell Beach, which is just southeast of New Orleans here. And, you run out out of the marsh, and it's about from from Campos there in Shell Beach where we launched. It's probably I think it's a, probably a 40 mile run out here, which 20 of which are in the marsh. Yep. And then you get out here and you pick and choose your days. Sometimes it's flat and you can run right out here, but this is doable. This is this wasn't bad, but all summer long you can come out and do this. You don't need a big boat. I mean, yeah. this is 18 foot boat, and well, you know when to stop driving too. When you all of a sudden there's 50 wellheads yeah. in front of you, you might want to fish there. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing like it in fresh water. Maybe, right. maybe king salmon. You know, we do that on Lake Michigan mm -hmm. back home. Oh, oh yeah. Benny. There we go. Benny, Come on. huh? Keep your head up. There, oh, perfect. There we go. Woo. All right, man. Oh, oofta. That's a good one. We inhaled it too. Come on. Grab this player and pop her out. Catching them on a shrimp. Catching them on a shrimp. But heck, I might have to go over to that shad. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Watching them whack that. It's a little bit more subtle bite on these things. If there's anything subtle about them, that's it. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Just know if there's a fight, can't compare. Awesome. We're gonna get her back and see if we can catch another one. There she goes. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks 
It's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. Available in six technique-specific models, the new Deadeye Custom Series Spinning Rods from Akuma offer tournament-grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT Blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Deadeye Custom Series Rods offer an ultra-responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Deadeye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Akuma is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry leading five year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. There we go. Yes, sir. Stumped that one. All right, we're gonna have to put a little bit of pressure after that last one. That one thumped it right at our feet. Yep. I wonder if they kind of followed a little bit just as soon as you start to bring the jig yeah. up, then it's it's die time. So normally right at the boat, I'll just give it a couple big rips. Mm -hmm. I'm here for you, but I yeah. don't think you're ready. No, nope, not ready. <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> Once you get him away from the rig, <laughs> the chances are really good. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> Sir? One after another. I'm glad I made that switch there. That's yes. fun. I like that thump. There we go. Another just great bull red. Come on. There we go. All their mouths are just, he's got his mouth shut. I can't get up in there. There we go. So James, what do we call that one? Electric chicken? Electric chicken chartreuse tail. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like anything, anything with a little bit of chartreuse in it, but... Safe bet. I've had, you know, to go straight chartreuse, though. Yeah? And I don't seem to like it as much, but a little bit goes a long way. Another great bull. So this one's probably at the top of the, top of the slot right here. A lot of people would, you know, keep that one. Yeah? That's probably be a good eater. We got plenty of speckled trout. Yeah, you feed a family of four with one. Right. <laughs> We're gonna drop her back here. Oh, that one was ready to go. Fish. There we go. Nice. So, you know, we're fishing heavy walleye gear. Um, 30 pound test braid, that's eight pound diameter, tying straight to the jigs. Three quarter ounce uh, VMC uh, swim jig head. We're throwing on those, those Largo shads color anything with chartreuse tail seems to work and on the rods this is a medium heavy uh, helios I think they're seven foot one inch yeah I like right around that seven yeah. seven seven one two is great for pretty much all inshore stuff and then obviously you're gonna need a good reel because they do rip some line fishing the helios sx 30 you know so uh, a little bit larger than most guys that fish for walleye just for the extra line capacity I was able to get 150 yards with so a 30 yeah, on here on each reel. It. I figured if we got to the end of that, we it was a fish we weren't supposed to catch. <laughs> and, anyway, so. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> there you sir. Your... I'm going to need the pliers on that one. Yep. Yeah, they're not messing around. No. None of that short strike business. They don't really play, though. No. There we go. There we go. Bait's out. Yeehaw. Boom. Everybody always talks about uh, you know that that eye that these redfish have. It's back there by the tail, and some of them have more than one. What's the most you've seen on a red? Five. Five. Does it make them faster? The more dots, the more eyes, the faster if they it, go. If it gets uh, any faster than that, I don't know if I want anything <laughs> to do. <laughs> God, what a fish! Who's uh, gone? There is. There's no place like Louisiana for big redfish. Just doesn't hold a candle to. I'm loving every minute of this. Yeah. There he is. 
Yep. Oh, it's a pretty good Ride one. Ride flavor? I think so. Nice. There I was go. really snapping on it. Really just. Well, you you had that rip and wrap out there mm -hmm. for a while, and I remember you hooked up on that red, and you, yep. a bunch of sheep had, and it was just a real aggressive. Yep. There's got to be something. There's that all that current tearing through here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's my biggest of the day right there. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, it's been four or five years, I think, since I last fought one of these, and I forgot <laughs> just how strong they are. <laughs> If you could do me that. There we go. Yes. Good that was work. a dandy. I'm gonna throw this over here. I like these deck rod holders. Those are yeah. nice. All right, got him. There we go. I'm gonna sneak over here quick. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a player's yet or not. All right, I'll go grab you one. Folks, look at that. That is a big fish. I'm going to lower him down here. I think we're going to be good. All right, excellent. Even better. Now it's just biting on it. It needs to relax a little bit. There we Chill. go. Right out. Oh, yep, that's my biggest of the day. No doubt about it. Sun come out, found a rig that was creating some current break here. Got real aggressive with the presentation. This is kind of a cool one. Yeah. I know you don't geek out about the number of eyes, but that one's potentially got four there, right? Yeah. One, one good one and, a fr and three one freckles. a little bit of slide there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna slide this yeah. girl back. Lord. Oh, well, no ceremony there. <laughs> That's the real deal. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's show. We've got our first open water episode in the bag for 2019 and we're pretty pumped about what lies ahead for us but before we go i have to thank ben brennigan for putting up with pat and i along allowing us to come down to louisiana share time with him in the boat and uh, experience what i consider to be one of the most exhilarating bites i've ever been on using light tackle so this is one that i've uh, checked off the bucket list but i'm going to be back before we go i want to remind everybody we're accepting entries into the dream trip giveaway Go to indepthoutdoors.com, click on the Dream Trip logo, and get yourself entered for a chance to fish and film a giant pike episode with the crew here at In Depth Outdoors up in Ontario in June of 2019. So thanks for watching, everybody. We're all open water from here on out. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.